So you guys know me and you know you've been watching my videos for years and I'm always a positive half glass kind of guy and I am taking that same attitude into this situation and in the economic times that are coming around the corner here. You can get really scared and petrified if you sit and read your news feed nonstop and uh, there's some scary stuff that's happening and, and it's okay to be scared but after that you need to buckle down and come from a place of empowerment and empowerment's going to come from getting ready and being prepared and feeling like you can at least control your own little corner of the world so i'm going to start doing videos again to help you guys out with that situation and show you some basics to grow your own food and come from a place of empowerment instead of fear so stick with me and let's talk and i'm going to tell you about something called um economic supply chain shock which you need to know about that that's coming and what some simple things you can do right now to prepare and if you can over the next few weeks we're gonna garden together most likely um, try to I forgot to mention this later on in the video but try to buy plants now most of you guys uh, that watch this channel I mean I have some skilled people that can start anything from seeds but starting from seeds is actually difficult although you can buy some seeds it's a good idea because maybe next season you'll be at a place where you can start the seeds but this year um, this is kind of more of an emergency situation you want to buy plants that are ready to go and uh, jump ahead try to get some food going because this is going to happen pretty fast when it goes down so focus you can actually even get if the you know, Agway stores and Walmart's just sold out. You can actually go to the grocery section and buy a lot of foods uh, right now that you can plant in your yard. You can go out and buy a thing of cilantro. You know, they sell the herbs that are actually in pots. You can buy sage. You can buy some basil. You can buy, you know, at least those little greens and you know they're alive and growing. So they're easy to transplant as soon as the weather gets good. So anyway, let's dive into what you're really here to hear. Hi everybody, I know it's been a long time since I've actually done a gardening video. I kind of just disappeared on YouTube for a year to try to get a practice going, but lo and behold, it's a brave new world here where uh, very few patients are coming in anymore. So I've taken the time to start prepping my garden and getting ready for what's coming. I have not been an alarmist, but if you've been watching my channel for, gosh, I guess I've been going over 10 years now. You can find lots of gardening videos for beginner gardeners who um, really don't have a huge amount of experience, maybe growing herbs or something, or maybe you haven't done anything. But I explain it really easy step by step, so you can go back and look at those videos. But what I'm going to do in the next week or two is I'm going to slow down. Um, obviously, you know, I've been putting wood carving videos up because I've been having fun wood carving, but I've changed my uh, direction to start prepping again because of what's going on. See, there's. I don't want to scare you guys, but there is something called a economic supply chain shock. And what this means is if you understand how food comes into the country, you know, almost everything you buy at Walmart is from another country. And if they start locking down the borders because they're scared or paranoid, um, it's going to cause a shortage. But what's really going to cause a shortage is the big rush on uh, anything. I mean, this could be not just food, but pretty much this is an economic thing that works the same way all the time that you get uh, supply chain shock so if everybody rushes especially uh, food they'll start putting and pushing out cheaper food and then they'll start putting out no food like uh, it'll it'll get less quality uh, I actually watch a guy called MI Gardener and he just did a video about this and I was like you know maybe I better get on here and talk to my crowd about it because it's kind of important so here's the deal I'm not trying to scare you guys, but what I want you to do um, over the next few weeks, I'm going to really prepare for what's coming. And I'm going to share with you guys what I'm doing, and hopefully it encourages you to go do stuff. I will tell you this. It is much, much easier to go buy 50 pounds of dried beans than it is to grow 50 pounds of dried beans. 100 pounds of tomatoes, or potatoes, I'm sorry, potatoes, than to grow that. Uh, I have a survival video where I talk about that you know um when things really go down like if you go look at the collapse when uh, the soviet union collapsed or some other th countries collapse most people run to staple foods and the big ones are rice potatoes 
in beans. They're the um, they last the longest and they are a big bang for the buck. It's a lot, lot easier than trying to learn how to grow livestock. Um, and for some of you guys, you know, um, you live in apartments. You're not going to have like, okay, let's have chickens or let's have a pig. And honestly, in a survival situation, it makes very little sense to have livestock. They eat um, the amount of food you have to grow to feed a cow. Uh, if you grew that food for yourself, you'd be set. Like, it's, it's a very inefficient way to use that much water. So, you're going to focus, the big ones are uh, between beans, rice, and s potatoes. But if you can get them sweet potatoes, if you can get those three, you have all your amino acids covered uh, at good levels. So, you know, that's where you want to focus. So, I'm going to give you an assignment today. Is go out and... And I'll know the stores have been picked clean of rice. Uh, I don't think our Walmart's had any in days. But the little stores, the Dollar Generals, you know those little things that are all over the country? They still have like small bags of rice, three to five pounds. It takes, if you have no other food at all, you can survive on 20 pounds of rice uh, for a family of two to three for a month. So if you have three of you living there, two people to three people, you need 20 pounds a month. To get through next winter, you're looking at least six months. So a year. So you want to buy about, you know, for the two of you, you should at least have over 100 to 150 pounds of rice if you can get it. Um, potatoes are awesome. Now, here's a problem. I've already started calling around, and everywhere I know, people are getting serious about their farming, and they are prepping. So I can't even find potato seeds. I'm having to grow them from potatoes I have. Um, the good news, though, what a lot of people don't understand is they ran out and bought like wipes and silly stuff for the virus, but they didn't buy um, fresh produce. So there's still a bunch of potatoes you can just buy and use if you need to. Anyway, I'm running out of battery, so go out and buy as much dried rice and beans as you can find. And try like things like the Dollar General, you can still get... Oh, they actually have a really cheap thing on canned food. You can get two cans for a dollar still, you know. With supply chain, um, what's going to happen is the food's going to run out that's coming in the country, and then what is left is going to be sky-high prices, or there's not going to be much left. So you're going to have to grow some of your food this year. And on that note, I'm putting in a potato garden, an emergency potato garden, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. Don't worry if you live in an apartment or something. I'm going to show you how to do it in buckets, too. Um, obviously, for some of you guys that have never really gardened before, this might be a little bit of a shock, but I'm going to make it really easy to... Uh, we're going to change what we're doing here. So anyway, I'm out of battery. Love you guys. I got to go. So real quick, here's my garden. I'm starting right now. Uh, I just put this dirt down today. It just came. So there we go. And uh, this is going to be basically an emergency potato patch. So I'm spreading this loam right now. And this is really exhausting. But you can still get stuff delivered even in this crisis right now. So start getting a garden going.